We're uh, here at 445 East Kona Drive, located in the beautiful Casa Grande area. We're more like northern Casa Grande, just about 25 miles south of Chandler. So as you can see, you got the two car garage and then the third car garage is separated. Beautiful spot over here, right? Nice right on the corner as well. Now we're gonna take you inside and show you this five bed, three and a half bath home. Come on in. Tyler showed you the front exterior. I'm gonna show you right as you walk in. This is like a dining room slash living room. This would be really cool to set up for a game room. We're specifically showing this house as if it were going to be an Airbnb. One of my big things that I always wanna do when Ever we have guests showing up to the house we want to make the first impression and so having things like games pool table and just very inviting and maybe like a accent wall that would really pop that's gonna really sell this home it is huge it's just under 4,000 square feet we're gonna tour you around the whole inside and then we're gonna meet Tyler out back and he's gonna show you the backyard so two ways to get to the other living room here this is a kitchen and also your living room. It would be really cool to set this up as a TV or movie room right here. It already has the outlets going. It has blinds on every one of the windows. And so you could really get this thing dark and then also have entertaining where you have people in the living room. And then you also have people in the kitchen here. I love a few things about this kitchen. I love that it has newer dishwasher, gas stove top, oven and microwave. One thing that it does not have though is a fridge. So we would have to uh, budget in for that too as well. But you also have a place for about four different people to eat in here. That's a nice feature. One thing I would probably do to brighten up the entire home is a repaint. They have lots of different colors, blues, greens, grays, things like that. And it definitely was someone else's style. And so we need to come in and make this ours. I'm going to show you the garages before we go upstairs. So you have one half bath right here, which your guests can access to. That's nice so they don't have to go up into the upstairs bedrooms. This obviously was like an office at one point. You could turn this into another bedroom. They have uh, also a closet in here already. It'd be very easy to wall this off with drywall, put a door on it, and then you have a sixth bedroom. Would be nice and spacious. You could also turn this into like a office room and then have a Murphy bed here as well. Guests love a place to work. A lot of people specifically use Airbnb for when they travel and they need a place to work from home too. So we'll take you out into the two car garage. Nothing fancy in here, but you do have ample storage, a new-ish hot water heater, and it is plumbed for a soft water loop and the electrical is already done. That's a nice feature. You could come in and get a unit from Home Depot for about $1,200 installed. Definitely recommend that with the hard water that we have in Arizona. We're gonna take you to the other wing of the house before we head upstairs this way leads you back to the kitchen also the foyer here and then we're gonna go into the one car garage it's very messy from the other owners i'm not quite sure everything else has been moved out of the house so i'm not sure the status of this this stuff might convey with the home but another car garage you could even use this one as a full owner storage that way if you guys want to store a bunch of your stuff so you don't have to fly back and forth with all of it you could store it in here lock it and just leave that um, so it's for your own personal use that would probably be something that me and katie would do so come meet me upstairs and we will uh, show you the bedrooms so as you come upstairs, you have this little landing area. This would be cool to set up for like a kid's corner, something like that. Little popcorn machine. There's lots you could do with this home because there's so many square feet. This is a primary suite in here. And one thing I would do right off the bat is we would definitely want to negotiate a carpet credit and the carpet is by no means perfect that's not even something that i would personally want to airbnb it has a lot of great potential but this would be something we would want to negotiate with the sellers on absolutely especially for our clients you have nice walk-in closet here we'll show you all that space 
And then for the primary suite, you have your own shower, own sink and bathroom in there. So very nice feature to have that as well. So bedroom number one of five, this place just keeps going. So love the open concept so you can see down. It makes the house just really flow. Kind of see what the rest of the guests are doing too as well. Come on in and we will show you the master. Master is one of my favorite parts of the room. You have a huge closet, shower, and also a tub. Definitely builder's grade in there, but very functional and usable, especially for Airbnb. You could liven this up with some plants, things like that. And of course, your own private captain's quarters in there. Another part I love, big bedroom. You could definitely do a king size bed and also a day bed in here if you wanted to house an entire family. And then my favorite part about the entire master too, I will show you guys the walk out deck. This would be amazing for those Arizona nights and also coffee in the morning. You can look out, see your kids and the guests playing in the pool and the house actually backs up to this nice green belt. So you don't have any neighbors behind, the neighbors on each side too as well. You have nice privacy and so tons of room on this patio here. You could even put your own uh, couch, chase, hammock, whatever you want to out here. And we have outlets as well. So I'm gonna take you, we've shown you the master. I'm gonna take you to the other three bedrooms in the home. This house has occupancy written all over it. You could sleep a small family, a large baseball team, whatever you want to do. There's plenty of options. All of the rooms are big enough that you could easily fit a king size bed in here or double bunk beds, things like that. Nice closet space, especially for Airbnb. You do not need the walk-in closets on every room, but it is nice to have. So here is the third full bathroom. You have his and her sinks and then your own private quarters too for when you're bathing or going to the bathroom. So plenty of space in here. Like that they flowed the same cabinets from downstairs all the way upstairs too with some new paint and the right design this thing would really pop so this is bedroom number four of five this is another one that has the full walk-in closet in here and plenty of space to make this king size bed or double bunk beds and this one too as well. However you wanna fit your occupancy, this is a good fit. A couple things and reasons why I would ask for some flooring credit. You can see that whoever floated this did not do the best job. It looks good, but there are some things that I would like to see touched up, especially with this many days on the market too as well. Things are flying off the market right now. If you don't know in Arizona, everybody is trying to move here. I don't blame them, this place is paradise. So washer and dryer are upstairs. This is great, especially for Airbnb because you're gonna be washing a lot of bedding. And so it's right near for your cleaner to come in and just get everything cleaned and wrapped up. And last but not least, we're going to go to the fifth bedroom of the entire tour. Also large oversized space where you could fit another king size bed. Something I always look for and that my guests love in my own personal area. Airbnbs, great bedding. This has the uh, the ability to do that. If you sleep in a king bed at home and you come on vacation and you're in a twin or you're in a queen, it just does not feel right. And so being able to have king size beds in every bedroom is a big bonus for this house and being on Airbnb. Okay, now we're gonna go meet Tyler out in the backyard so he can show you everything we would do out there as far as other activities go. We'll see you down there. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys the backyard. And as we walk around, you'll notice this is a very good sized backyard, especially for Arizona. So the first thing is you got a really nice covered patio area. You do get some of the evening sun because it is uh, the backyard's facing southwest a little bit, but they've uh, they've already taken care of some of that for you. They've got shades here that pull down that would be really nice to have. You could have a patio table out back here or out here with an umbrella that would really help with the, with the shade, especially this time of year. But here you have a really nice pool. It's got a nice little Baja shell for the little ones. And then it's probably, what do you think, five, five feet deep? And you got the pool equipment back there. I, I would recommend getting some type of cover for that. You know, they, they sell some at Costco and different places that can just go right over that, whether it's metallic or you could have a block fence put in right there um, just as a cover. So here uh, you got an, a nice big RV gate. So you could, you could uh, really, you could park back here. 
it's be easier to get things back here. Just a lot of room to work with. You could do a lot of things with this, this concrete slab right here. And then back here, the, the backyard wraps around. So it's a very good sized backyard, really nice tree for shade. You could do a lot of different things with this area with a, like a vacation rental in mind. You could do things like you could get a play set back here. You could put some more tables back here. Um, you could do uh, a sandbox for the kids around here and this, this grass lot. So yeah, uh, you got plenty of room for like cornhole. You've got a nice little fire pit here. You could do something different with that. They've got citrus trees back here. They actually have some vines, some great vines back here, but they don't look to be doing too well. So I, I would I would say probably do something else with that. And then the, the lawn obviously needs a little bit of work. You could you could do turf or you could just have a good landscaping company come out here and take care of that for you. It shouldn't be too crazy to get this, this lawn back in order, especially for Airbnb vacation rental. So it's got two AC units. You, and you have access to the, the garage here, which is nice. And then uh, one thing I've noticed being back here is there's, you know, homes on both sides, but it's very private back here. So e even though, I mean, th there's tons of trees and stuff, but it, it's the way the house is angled there, it's just very private back here. So it'd be great for your guests and great for when you wanted to stay here yourselves. Hope you like this uh, home tour. If you're interested in investing here in Arizona, me, Tyler, and Katie would love the opportunity to work with you. I am going to link our information in the comment section below. If you're looking to invest, we'd love the opportunity to help you.